We got a lot of stuff going on in today's video. We need to build a window carcass for the master bathroom. Also, we need to finish. What are you doing in here? We need to finish the glass in the shower door. There's just that one section left right there. Then we need to dive back into the garage to get that ready for drywall and plywood. With that being said, let's get into it. I am taking some measurements for the window rough opening. So we put the tile of this area on hold, the, sh the rest of the shower glass is on hold, which leaves me with this project. Uh, Bethany has a stained glass window that she got from her mom and that was always the intention to put that in this space. And uh, today we're gonna be building a frame for the stained glass window. All right, guys, I have the drafting done. Let's go make some sawdust. All right, so we have all the separate pieces cut that we need. Uh, need to plane these guys down here. That way, uh, just based on the height of the rough opening and the dimensions of the window, I need these to be a little bit thinner than three quarters of an inch. And I don't think it's going to be a big deal because of how short they are compared to these longer uh, sides here. Uh, and then I have the trim pieces cut here. So what we need to do is we'll take these and we'll run them through the miter or through the table saw using the miter to go ahead and clean up the edges here and get them to the final cut. And then we will cut dados on here to go ahead and get these guys to drop in like that. Unplug for safety. I always stick my finger on the end of the arbor to make sure that the nut does not fall down into the uh, table saw. Okay, so I cut the trim here to fit inside of the um, casing and I am just using pin nails and then I'm gonna pin nail it about every, I don't know, six inches here. But I'm also using um, my adjustable square here or combination square to be able to set the depth away from the front of the window. We have the window inside the carcass. We have the window inside the window roughing. And we are ready to go. It looks pretty darn good. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a thin frame about the thickness of tile. Uh, so the tile that we're putting up here, we're gonna do a, thick, a thin frame around that. And depending on what that looks like and how we feel, I might take this and go to this style. So I have more of this trim available. This is what's around, you know, the window and the door. And then I think what I'll do is build a window sill and then a decorative piece under the window sill. So that's the plan. But first, just for tiling, I'm going to build that thin, um, that thin frame just to bump it out to that tile depth. And then we'll tile and then we'll do all that. But the tiling is not happening in today's video. That'll be probably the next video or maybe the next, next video. So, you know, if you want to see the tile go on, hit that like and subscribe button. Otherwise, you know, you'll just have to come back and watch it later. Football. I need a pencil. I am sure she won't mind. I marked it there. Let's hope this board is long enough. Uh, it's not going to be. I think we'll use this board 
which is actually really fitting because this board came out of the bathroom. Yeah, so we saved all of them. This was all the subflooring out of that bathroom and we ripped them up and took the nails out and saved them, but it's too thick still. We're gonna thin it down to this thickness right here. and I actually set it a little bit on the inside of the frame. My thought with that was when I put the window in, I used like a smaller level, a little torpedo level, and then set the window based on that. Um, with us putting tile, especially being a vertical tile up next to this, I wanna make sure it's really level on the outside of the trim. That way it just doesn't look weird with the trim budding up next to it. And so I was able to cheat a little bit by putting the trim just inside the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a router bit. I'm gonna go ahead and use this flush cutting router bit. It looks like this guy here. So it has a bearing on top and then it has the blade which is the exact same width as the bearing, the edge of the bearing. And it'll ride along the inside, along the window carcass and then cut just a little bit of the window trim off. Can you explain to us what you're doing? Well, I don't want the girls to be able to see the profiles of our nakedness <laughs> from out in the hallway. So I'm etching the glass so that it won't be see-through. What are you using? Um, this is etching paste. You can use it on any glass or mirror. All right, while Bethany's working on the uh, frosting of the glass, we will go ahead and start working on this last glass pane for our shower door. Um, went ahead and drilled out our holes here. So now we're just gonna put a layer of silicone on this guy. We'll go ahead and put some in the holes here just for good measure. I like to run these down by hand. That way we don't like over, over turn them. And we'll scrape up the remaining silicone out of here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this up here and then mark where the holes are. And then we'll get our carbide tip drill bit and drill through the tile into the back side of the board. I don't think this side goes into a anchor, so we'll drill a larger hole and then put the plastic anchors in on this side here. Nom, 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 nom.